All right, Rockstars, welcome back. I'm Quentin from POS Expertise team at Odoo, and today we are cranking up the volume on something essential, the black box integration with Odoo. If you're running a restaurant catering business in Belgium, this is your backstage pass to full compliance and seamless setup. No technical headache, no offbeat surprises, just a smooth ride along this black device. By the end of this session, you will be ready to link the black box to your point of sale system like a pro. So grab your gear, turn up the volume, and let's rock. First thing first, what exactly is the black box? Officially known as the System de Caisse Enregistreuse, the black box is a government mandated device for specific businesses. Its primary purpose is to ensure tax compliance by shakily recording all point of sales transactions for bars and restaurants. So it ensures transparent transaction recording, generate a unique digital hash for each receipt, and track essential data like VAT breakdowns, employee ID, and order details. In short, it's your digital watchdog to ensure transparency. So you are required to use black box if you are in the restaurant or the catering industry. But I highly recommend you to check more details on Federal Public Services website to be sure that you have all requirements needed. Those requirements may change, so make sure you verify your eligibility on the SPF website. So I have a link in the description below. Before we get into the configuration, let's ensure we have everything ready. Before you can start using the certified black box with Odoo point of sales, there are three essential types of requirements to cover. First one, registration. Second, hardware setup with all your device needed, and then software configuration. Let's go through each of them. First one, registration requirements. To activate your black box, you must be officially registered both on your side, so on the client side via the Belgian Federal Public Service Finance Platform, and on Odoo side. And you will find all registration steps in the online official documentation. Once your black box is successfully registered, you will receive a VIT signing card along with a PIN code. This PIN will be required the first time you will launch your POS session connected to the black box. Then, hardware requirements. Here is what you will physically need. So, first of all, of course, a certified black box device only from boitenoir.be. A compatible receipt printer. Check the official documentation for supported models. Then your VAT signing card with the PIN code that you will receive separately. An IoT box, either a physical or a virtual, only available if you're using a Windows PC. And all necessary cables, especially female to male, RS232, this one, provided by Boite Noire, an adapter, RS232, with USB, to be able to connect to the IoT, and some Ethernet cables if you are using a network printer or physical IoT, and also, of course, the power cable to connect to your black box. Ensure your network assigns a static IP address to all relevant devices. This will avoid connection issues and makes troubleshooting way much easier. About software requirements. Finally, on the Odoo side, your Odoo database must use a certified black box compatible version. The IoT app must be installed and properly configured in your Odoo environment. And of course, make sure to install the POS Black Box BE module from Odoo Apps. POS Black Box BE module from Odoo Apps. Let's recap. So before jumping into the configuration, make sure your registration is complete, your hardware is fully connected and compatible, and your Odoo database is correctly set up with the right modules. Once all of this is in place, you will be ready to configure the black box in Odoo. And we will walk you to that in the next scene. Let's begin with the hardware installation. This step is crucial. So take your time and make sure each connection is properly secured. First, you will connect your printer to the IoT box, the IoT box that is already connected with the Ethernet cable. In this case, we will use a connected printer with USB. 
Before going any further, we highly recommend checking out our other tutorials on printer setup and IoT box configuration. This will help you to ensure that both devices are working correctly before continuing. Then you will connect the serial cables. As you can see, you can plug the mail part into the black box directly, and then you can connect the other part to the adapter. This adapter has a USB port that you will be able to connect to the IoT box. Once it's done, you can insert the VAT signing card carefully. You will find the slot on the side of the black box. When it's done, you can connect the power to the black box and you can power everything once all connections are made. You will power on your receipt printer, you will ensure the black box is connected to power, and lastly, you will power on the IoT box. Pro tip, always power on the IoT box last. This ensures all connected devices are detected during its boot sequence. Failing to do so might prevent proper communication with the printer or the black box. Also, you should first test the connection between the printer and the IoT box. This helps you confirm everything is correctly connected in Odoo and prevents any existing issues before you introduce the black box. So, now the hardware is connected, let's jump to the next part with the software configuration in Odoo. Alright, so if you follow the tutorial since the beginning, you've probably already downloaded the IoT app and the black box module. But if you forgot to do it, I will just remind you now because I'm a nice guy. So you can go here in app, click IoT, and then you will find the Internet of Things application that you need to connect your IoT box, of course. Then you can delete the filter because what you want is a module and you can type black for black box and you will find here Belgian registered cache register module that you need to download anyway all right once it's done you can go to point of sales configuration and go to settings so first of all we will create a cache rounding method you can go here Enable cache rounding, name your cache rounding, and be sure that you did the following configuration. Rounding precision to 0.05, add a profit account and a loss account, and configure your rounding method to the nearest. Once it's done, you will now ensure that your taxes are correctly configured. So you will go in the pricing session in the always in the setting session of point of sales and be sure that you have tax included price but that's not all what you need to do as well is going in the application invoicing or accounting depending what you use go to configuration taxes and then select all the taxes you will use in your point of sales for example 21 percent here Go to advanced options and be sure that you have here tax included in price. And you need to do the same for each taxes. Once it's done, you can come back to point of sales, configuration, and don't forget to create a new point of sales product category that you will call fiscal category. Then you can just now go back to the settings and you will enable automatic receipt printer just here. Then it will allow you to create receipt each time someone connect to your point of sales through the black box. Then finally, you will just go to the discount menu and make sure that global discount and Loyalty program are not available. Otherwise, you won't be able to properly set the black box. And the last step, you just need to 
you stay in the settings and you will go just right here with the IoT box option and make sure that you have linked your Belgian fiscal data module. So you will have here the availability to select your device and of course you just need to select black box serials and then you can save. When your point of sales is configured, the last step is to link the BIS number to your employee in Odoo. So you will go to settings, manage users, choose your users, and write here the ENSZ number. Then you will go to the employee form, and on the employee form, you will just click right here in settings to add again the ENSZ or BIS number. So make sure if you, are, if you have a user to put the number on the user and on the employee form. If you're only working with employee, just go directly to the application employees, select your employee, go to settings and write the BIS number. Once it's done, you're almost there. So other configurations might be needed as well in the future, but to see the full list of configurations that are needed, make sure to go on the online documentation to stay aware about what's on with Blackbox. So now all we need to do is to check it out. Let's start now a point of sales session. Just note that the first time you will open the session, you will need to enter the PIN code of the VAT signing Card. Here it won't be the case because I already use the black box. So I will just open the register with my pin code, open the register, and then a ticket will be printed with clocks in, indicating that the session has started and registered in the black box, and you will find all the info you need with the hash code, for example. Then, once the session is done, all you need to do is close the register. And then you will see that another ticket will be printed out with workout, indicating that the session is closed. And just like that, your black box is now operational with a do. For the last part, I would like to share you some tips in case of issues happening during the configuration. Some common issues you may have is that the printer is not working. So always verify the printer compatibility, drivers, and if there are paper in the printer. It can look silly, but it happens. Also, what you can have is that the device is not connected. So always check connection and reboot the IoT box. To do so, what you need to do is going here on the IoT, click just right here to access the IoT homepage, and then click here to restart the IoT. Really simple. Another issue you might have are issue linked to taxes. So you need to go on invoicing app or accounting app, depending on what you use, of course. You go on the configuration menu and in tax groups. There, if it's correctly set, you will see all the taxes you will use in your point of sales. And you need to click here on view check label on POS receipt. You will need to find an A for 21%, B for 12%, C for 6%, and D for 0%. This means that it's okay. If it's not the case, you will need to add them manually. Finally, black box is detected as a scale. So if it's the case, make sure to install the black box module first and restart the IoT just through the process I just show you with the IoT homepage. So remember, the black box restricts certain features like loyalty program or custom pricing. So always test everything before going live. That wraps up our guide to integrating the black box with Odoo. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more expert insight. Have questions? Drop them in the comments and I will be happy to help. Until next time, happy selling.